Hey everybody, I got something pretty cool the other day for uh, mounting my GoPro. So this you can mount on your handlebars or any kind of round post that you have. So there's a seat post, you can mount it on um, trekking poles or anything like that. And it has a 360 mount rotation. So I wanted to show you guys this. And uh, let's take a look at the box here. It shows all the sizes that the bars will actually clip to. So without any rubber insert you can go from little less than an inch to almost almost inch and a half so 25 millimeters to 35 millimeters uh, there's two rubber inserts there's a small and then there's a large so a small one you can go from 0.35 inches up to almost a three quarters of an inch which is 9 to 19 millimeters and then the larger one which is actually the medium size for the set is 0.74 inches to almost an inch and that is 19 millimeters to 25 millimeters so you can mount this on anything that's round and it's has a you know wide enough that that clip can fit in so I mean sky's the limit you can mount it on uh, tent poles or you know anything that you want to capture GoPro videos with so you don't have to carry a tripod or anything like that you could actually take this backpack or something and actually have uh, a way to mount your GoPro camera and with it being able to swivel right here you should be able to get any angle that you want so everything is included except for the GoPro camera you have the thumb screw to lock it in the GoPro mount the swivel and then the, uh, the actual clamp itself and then two inserts so let's take a look inside that's nice basic packaging so here's everything inside. There's the thumb screw, one of the inserts, another insert, and then your clamp itself. So inserts do have a circular hole and uh, a hinge part. That hole actually located into that one piece. There's the thumb screw. It's pretty high quality plastic. You don't want it too heavy, but it has nice long threads. So this whole build is plastic except for a few metal pieces and you can tell they're metal by the silver look. So here is the GoPro mount which the thumb screws will actually mount into it. And you can lock it down really easy. This will work with any GoPro accessories that uses that mount. So if you have it on your bike or anything you can actually smooth it like this. And so then your GoPro it can actually adjust this way. So you should have a nice wide range of mo motion. Um, everything is pretty lightweight. This is the thumb screw. This one will on thread quite a bit. It will stop when you get your limit. So you can unscrew it all the way there. And then here is that little spot where that locates in. There is a rubber liner in there. So that way if you're using it on bike bars or anything like that it will not scratch it and it will help lock it in place there you can see the biggest it will actually get and you got the same top uh, logo brand on there so to mount it on any kind of pole let's say if this is your pole you just place it on top bring that down in and then lock it in You can tighten this down quite a bit. I'm not going to do it on this paint bottle, but you can tighten it down quite a bit so it actually won't move. And it's not very tight right now, and it's not moving really easily on that. So if it was a piece of metal that you really could clamp down on, it's not going to move. So I have used this a little bit. I don't have the footage on this, but. Uh, the quality is very good. It is a nice sturdy mount to mount your GoPro. Um, there's plenty of options. This is relatively cost effective. It's only about $20 shipped from Amazon. So there's not a whole lot that you can get uh, that cheap anymore for that this quality. It is all hard plastic, so if you probably hit it on something really hard maybe crash your back bike and actually 
hit it right on this on there you might break it but if you're using it properly it will not break it should last quite a while um, but other than that that should be a nice little review on the same top uh, 360 bar mount all right i hope you guys have a good one talk to you then